Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another Iron Man Progress video. This is episode number 83. To kick things off, I've actually picked up a general grad or task and obviously gone for the maximum of 35. In terms of the drops I've already received at Bandos, I've actually been really lucky. I have the tassets and the chest plate in 69 kills. Um, so obviously still need to go back for the hilt and the boots. I'm going to be using the magic method as I've used that before and I think it works pretty well particularly with a slayer task as you land the freezes a lot more frequently. So uh, let's see if we can get lucky. Hope you guys enjoy the video. And that is the end of the task. Didn't get any drops but another 35 kills done at Grado bringing me to over 100 KC now. Um, yeah might do a little bit more this episode we shall see. Probably won't get another task but Bandos is always fun if you can find a world. Coming in with 93 thieving, I'm at Pyramid Plunder as I still need my second scepter to be able to make the occult altar in my house. I may one day go for a third one so I can stick um, a scepter in the stash unit that you need for the master clue step but I think two for the time being would be fine. Finished up a Jad task, got a fire cape to trade in, can we get the pet on 12kc? Nope. That is what we like to see, 231 Aviants, he's going to be heading back to God Wars. I already have the chins in the bank, I've got enough for a task, maybe half a task after this. So fingers crossed I can get lucky, I still need the Armadillo Helmet and the Chain Skirt. I have uh, two Armadillo Hilts and I have two of the Chest Plates as well. Well that is the first drop of the task and it is a God Sword Shard off the boss. Ah, well that is unfortunate. <laughs> That's my third armadillo hilt in under 700 kills. Um, yeah, not much, not much more to say about that really. I don't, I don't want it. And the luck continues. That's three hilts now and three chest plates. Um, just don't know what to say really. Very unfortunate. And that is the end of the task unfortunately. I guess it was good to see a couple of drops even if they weren't the two that I wanted. I would like to try and get another armadillo task, at least one more, this episode. Um, and yeah, hopefully it won't be too long before I get another unique. There we go, pretty much back to back. I did bring the Slayer Cape with me but it didn't proc um, so I cancelled the task and got another Aviancy task. 240. I think I will have to go and catch some more chins, but maybe we'll get a little bit luckier this time round. This is why I don't PK. Ooh. Oh, he got me! LMAO said you rat Iron Man. Ah. Oh. Let's just skip to the Armadillo content. Oh, that is what we like to see, an Armadil chain skirt. So just one drop left to finish my second God Wars boss. Just the helm to go. And that is the task complete. Very happy to be picking up the chain skirt and can hopefully get another task pretty soon and come back to get the helmet. And that is the very last Kraken tentacle that I needed to get on the account. It's my 11th overall. I had one that I turned into a tentacle whip. And with the 10 that I now have in the bank, I can upgrade my Trident. And I think it holds up to 20,000 charges. It's not really a huge deal, but I thought it'd be cool to get because I was still doing my Kraken tasks. Um, I'd certainly finish this one. I'm not sure if I'll move it onto my block list. Um, but yeah, nice to finally pick that up. Well, I certainly wasn't expecting to get another Grador boss task this episode, but I'm going to be going for the full 35 and I'll do the mage method as always and see if we can get lucky. No way, I don't believe it. I just got the goblin champion scroll. That is really cool. I'd actually considered maybe going for the champion's challenge cape on this account. I thought it'd be kind of a cool little completionist thing to do. Um, and I was kind of hoping that I might get the goblin scroll passively through doing my KC at Bandos. I am I'm actually really chuffed with that, that is awesome. No way, my Bandos luck is absolutely broken. That's my second Bandos chest plate. So in 107 KC I've had two chest plates and tacits. I really hope I get lucky at this boss and finish it early. That would make up for the terrible Bandos, uh, the terrible Zami luck I mean. And that is the end of the task, another 35 gradles down. 
And that is 94 thieving. I have to say I'm really enjoying Pyramid Plunder at the moment. The XP is super fast and it's pretty chilled out. But hoping I can get the scepter soon. Yes, there we go. That is my second scepter not long after hitting 94. So I can now go and make the occult altar in my house, which is really cool. Um, I guess there is potential to come back here and get a third one to put in the stash unit, but I don't think that's really necessary. Though, it's, I mean, this is the best way to train thieving um, up to 99 now, so we'll be coming back. May get the third, we'll see. So I needed to buy some soul runes for the occult altar, and a little tip for any Iron Men, if you are buying soul runes, don't buy them on Lunar Isle. They're very expensive. I think it costs like up to 1k once the shop's bought out, so definitely come to the Wizard's Guild and buy them here. They're like, yeah, less than 400, I think. Right, I think that is everything that I need to upgrade the altar. This one looks really cool and this is going to be handy. I do obviously have 99 magic and the cape to switch my spell book but you can only do that five times a day so nice to have this one. Um, after the last episode I actually trimmed my house down to a 3x3 grid um, so I don't actually have a servant in here at the moment but if I ever need to use one for whatever reason I can just build another bedroom very quickly um, and this is nice it's got a really quick loading time. Got a master clue to open what can we get? Yeah, that's not a bad reward to be fair. Elite clue from Zora, what can we get? Nothing. That is my first Zora unique in a very long time. The last time I've been here really was when I came to get my blowpipe, which was back at, I think I got it around 16, 70 kills. And I've just been coming back now and again. I actually do really enjoy doing Zora now that I've got better gear and stats and stuff. Um, and so it's good to get my stack of scales up. I don't really want to dismantle the uniques that I've got in the banks. So I think it's kind of cool to have them stacked up. So eventually I will need to come back to uh, keep collecting scales. So I just do a few here and there. And uh, yeah, another visage. Was very close to a mining level and there is 91. And there it is, another aviancy task. So we're gonna be heading back to Armadil. I do need to catch some black chins, but that shouldn't take too long. And see if we can get the helm. Oh my days, I just got an armadillo chest plate off a minion. That is so rare. I think that's a 1 in 16,000 drop rate. Oh, a bit of a shame it couldn't have been a helm. That would have been a, a cool way to finish off armadillo. But wow, that, that is very, very rare. I am actually losing track of how many armadillo chest plates I've got on the account now. I believe that is my fifth one. So in this trip, I've had one off a minion and off the boss as well. And that is going to be the last kill of the task, finishing up on 811 KC, over double drop rate for the helm now. Got an elite clue from a rune dragon, can we get anything good? Don't know what happened there, but uh, the clue is not very good. Agility level coming in, that is level 91, I'm going to get one more which uh, will basically allow me to access the best room in the Hallowed Sepulchre, which is coming out in a few days' time. So I think it's yeah, just over 10 hours of training. I'm actually quite looking forward to seeing what that new piece of content is like. Um, they're releasing the recolor for Black Graceful, which is pretty cool. I've only got the uh, basic Graceful. I've never bothered recoloring my set. So may end up going for the Black recolor. That might be quite nice. And yeah, just curious to see what the uh, what the XP is like. I think they said you can maybe get like uh, like 70k XP an hour, 75k. So could be a, a decent way to train agility going forward towards 99. And unfortunately, that does bring us to the end of another episode. I hope you have enjoyed watching. It's been a pretty good one as far as I'm concerned. Got a lot of drops, some of which I wasn't expecting, to be perfectly honest. Very nice to get the Pharaoh Scepter and finally be able to make the Occult Altar. That's definitely going to come in handy. And very pleased to be picking up the Armadillo Chain Skirt. Bandos was good fun as well, getting the chest plate, which was a duplicate, but always nice to see. And certainly wasn't expecting a Champion Scroll, so that was nice as well. And yeah, a few other odds and bobs uh, as drops this episode. I don't really know why I've got the climbing boots in my inventory. I think I was trying to pair together some fashion scape for the outro. But uh, yeah, don't mind those. For the next episode, as I mentioned, going to be going for 92 agility. As I do want to try out the Hallowed Sepulchre from the Dark Might update when it's released. 
and uh, yeah continue on with some slayer hopefully get another aviancy task and pick up the armadillo helm if you enjoyed the video feel free to drop a like and if you want to stay up to date with all the latest videos in the series well feel free to subscribe as well and until next time guys take care